This is the February 11th meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen uh, at 6 p.m. We're also going to have a joint meeting with the Finance Committee at 6.30. Uh, our meeting is being taped by Frontier Community Access Television for viewing later by our residents and the public. First item on the agenda is the minutes for February 4th. Has everybody reviewed the minutes? Yeah. Yeah. They look good. Any, any uh, additions or amendments? No. Nope. Excellent job as usual, Lisa. Thank you. Uh, I'll make a motion that we um, approve the minutes for the February 4th meeting. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Okay, thank you. Meetings attended by select board members. Bill, do you have any? Uh, yeah. Um, several front Frontier Budget Committee meetings uh, and uh, one Union 38 negotiating committee meeting. Your hair looks a little grayer this week. <laughs> yeah, and I can honestly say there were periods of time during each one of those meetings that I wished I was somewhere else. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay. Okay. I've never the right <laughs> meeting. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Thank yes, you. Yes. Yes. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bye. Uh, no, I had no meetings this week. I had no meetings this week. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it was just so that kind of week. It was one of those weeks. Okay. okay. Public comments. Do we have any public comments? I don't see anybody has a comment. That's good. Okay. Old business. The draft post agreement for uh, the <coughs> Bowdens. Um, do we have anything on that? Uh, no, we're going to have to make a decision soon. All we have to do is um, send them a letter saying that... that uh, the town of Conway finds no fault with their proposal. Okay. If, if um, the town of Conway does not find any fault with their proposal. We have discussion on the proposal they did last week? I do. Um, okay. And that is, as you know, last week they submitted the two different forms of ownership. Mm -hmm. uh, one for a cultivation and one for a manufacturing operation. Right. Um, which means two separate applications mm -hmm. to the... Two separate licenses. Well, do we? That's the question. It's... Um, I, I think that I think that's the Cannabis Control Commission's, um, you know, purview. They, I think they have a license for each one of those functions. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Separate license. So, so, so did they submitted their own draft? Uh, did did it make changes to our draft? <clears throat> this did, is our policy. Right. Yeah. Did did they attempt to re Did they revise the, this and put it in their own? Corporate name, whatever. Did they? I thought they handed out two. They handed agreement. out a draft post agreement. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I got gotcha. you. They handed two. Right, right. right. One, two. They were, they were right for each one some. of those funds. Right, yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, but it was only a draft. How would we comment on it? Because it's a draft. Oh, well, it, was, it was a great draft. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. Um, Maybe maybe you want to take another week to look at the agreements closely. Have we have we run that past Jack? Uh, no, no, let's no, let's run them past Jack. Uh, Jack so, is also involved uh, with the city of East Hampton, and they have a num They have I think they have three of them now actually. Okay, he's very familiar with the agreements, so if he has anything to add to that, uh, that would be helpful. Okay, mm -hmm. so we'll, we will reconsider this after we get our town council to look at it and give us comments. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other discussion on what they handed in last week? No, it was okay. good. Um, I was very, uh, very impressed by the, the thoroughness of their proposal and uh, the way they integrated the public comment into their, uh, their proposal. So, uh, yeah, I, th I thought it was good. Okay, so we'll, we'll do something on that when Jack has a chance to look at those. Uh, appointments, correct term appointment from Lee Bowden. Okay, uh, or Leah Bowden. All right, so basically this is just... Uh, Revising your appointment to that. Okay, to that we, we, already, we already approved it. We're just, you know, moving the term up to... Uh, a, a, six, vote, a vote would be... Yeah, 6-30-21. Uh, I'll make a motion that we um, uh, appoint 
uh, Leah Bowden to the Cons Conservation Commission uh, on the approval of uh, Bruton Strange. Um, the recommendation. The recommendation. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, for a term to end June 30th, 2021. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay. Perhaps we can uh, welcome the other new member. Yeah. Tony, I'm here. Um, <laughs> we've already approved <coughs> your, you. Um, you know, your appointment to the uh, Conservation Commission, but please, you know, give us a few words. I, I appreciate the opportunity. I think uh, I had an opportunity to sit in on a few of the uh, sessions, which we've just moved in. My wife and I moved here to Conway in July, so ah. we're relatively new. Well, but we wanted to play in. Thanks well, for we're, we're excited awesome. to do it. It's a different time in our lives. And for us, really, at this point, um, we were looking for ways that we could start to plug into community. Mm -hmm. where, where did you move from? Uh, it's South Deerfield, so not too oh, far, okay. but so. further away from work for me. So oh, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I still surprised a lot of people when I did it, but okay. um, we love it out here. And I think, you know, as I was exploring different things, and both, you know, from our church is out in Asheville, so okay. we want to be more involved there as well. Okay. Um, but we wanted to be able to plug into something that we thought was really relevant. So for me, at least, um, I was invited to at least take a look at it. Some friends of ours had said to uh, maybe explore it a little bit. So I did. And I think it's it's great. I mean, what I love about the town is you know it, it's this little treasure. It's a little treasure in the hills. You know. What what road did you move to? Just out here, Parsons, right behind the bank. Oh, oh, right in Parsons. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, you're walking distance. Yeah. Okay. Not tonight, but <laughs> to, to the center of town, to our metropolis. You're oh yeah, I'm, I'm in the okay. middle of it all. And you had to come to the conservation commission for approval of some work. I mean, uh, yeah, well, along the way. Yeah. Way, so that I mean, so that's how you yeah. met the commission. Yeah. So yeah, we we're very fortunate though. So happy to become involved. Truly, so I'm excited great. about it. I, most of my my life has been investing in a career, and okay. sort of at this stage in my life, I want to continue there as well, but mm -hmm. also begin to invest in some things personally, and that's really what led me to, well, well, to doing this. Thank you much for volunteering. That's a very important committee, uh, and we've actually had some, some trouble getting volunteers for that committee, so thank you very much. Well, you're very we, we really, really, truly really appreciate that. Yeah. There's some great people involved, so I think that it speaks and, a lot for the town. And I'm sure you'll find it an enjoyable uh, committee to be on. Yeah. So they you. do a lot of good work. Yeah. Okay. Any questions for Tony? Welcome. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Really thanks. Thank, thank, thank you much. See you You're tomorrow. welcome to stay for I'll the rest of this exciting meeting if you want. <laughs> oh, or visit us at any time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just might some one of these days, but tonight I will bow out. But thanks for just having a couple minutes just to say hello. Tony, thank, thank you me. much. Thank you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Oh, pleasure. Thank you. We'll be cross country skiing down here tomorrow. Well, I'm wondering now, huh? Yeah. Yeah, depending on the overall time, but I think we might. I think it's important we have it, though based on what Bruton had shared, so. Yeah. And I passed the ethics test today. Oh! Congratulations. <laughs> I took it at lunch, so. Um, so I'll, I'll probably see, I'll reach out to uh, Virginia tomorrow, so I... I mean, that's great. Right. Tomorrow. That's yeah, great. Trying to do it while we can. Well, okay. Opportunities are valid, so. Terrific. Thanks again. Have a great Thanks. night. Thanks, Thanks Tony. Okay, next item on our agenda is to sign the caucus warrant. Has everybody seen this warrant? Yeah. Okay. Everybody's familiar with it? Philip, are um, you? You got an electronic version of that. Good. I'm not on it. <laughs> Good. I don't have to make any decisions. I'm not on it. I'm on it. Ah. All right, it looks like everything is in order on this warrant. Our caucus is March 4th here in the town hall at 8 p.m. Uh, any questions on this warrant? I, I, I do want to say that this is the one thing, the one municipal thing that we do that I've um, regularly heard that it snuck up on people and people aren't aware of it. Not, I think that that's mostly... Do you like mean the, the caucus? Yeah, meeting? yeah. And I think it's mostly the time of the year and people aren't receptive to being made aware of something. But um, 
All right, well, we'll, I, I, I don't know what we do to make people aware of it. Do we do a, a thing in the recorder on the back? Or do we, what do we do to... We, we do, we have it on our website. Yeah, is there anything more that, can we put something in the recorder for that, for this? Um, or um, put a sign out for more than just the night of it? I, 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 I mean that, we put a sign out the, on the lawn of this place, the night of it. I mean, mm -hmm. that, it just, the people around here, it's, it's the same faces every year, mostly. It, I don't know. I would just like to do a little bit better job if, if in fact, it can be reasonably and easily done to make okay. it... Um, we'll, we'll, ask, we'll ask Tom to look into a little better outreach. Okay. Uh, okay, if there are any, no more questions on the, on the warrant itself, I'll make a motion that we approve the warrant. Do I have a second? Yes. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I have to reverse 911. That goes to everyone anyway. <clears throat> right, next item on the agenda, um, Mr. Moore looking for an introduction and um, preview of the process for Marijuana Community Outreach meeting. I don't see Mr. Moore uh, here. The door is open and closed, but it's not him. All right, well, I, I think what we should do here is defer, defer this to Tom. We can meet with Tom and, and go over this. Okay. I don't think there's any need for us to do this. Yeah. Uh, Tom, let's okay. go. Mr. Moore will just defer that to you. Okay. Um, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that, but, but I mean, if someone requests that something be put on the agenda, just generally, don't they have to get their, don't, don't we have to do that? Well, there are, there are, cert, there are certain things that, um, if they get put on the agenda, um, could be handled by staff. Uh, it's not really necessary. Okay. We can deal with anybody, though. It's yeah. all right. I, it's not 6.30 yet, so we don't have um, a finance <coughs> committee here. So we'll go on to uh, items now anticipated. Tom, do we have any? Uh, I don't believe I do. There was something tickling in the back of my head, but okay. I think it's, oh, I, I put it on for next week. And it, it'll, it's in my update. Okay. All right. Can we get your update? Yeah. news in committees and boards. The uh, planning board is requesting legal information from town council as to the proper method to adopt procedures, rules, and fee schedules for the planning board and may have an article for town meeting if action there is necessary. Uh, planning board is also in communication with Varsity Wireless, a wireless tower provider to the wireless carrier industry and have asked Town Council for advice on Varsity's status as a provider rather than a carrier, which is what the Town's bylaw is based on, and also whether the Planning Board as the Special Permit Granting Authority can waive requirements in the bylaw. Uh, among other things, Varsity is requesting a 150-foot tower higher than the 120 feet allowed. Um, question, what, why, why are we entertaining a, uh, a wireless carrier tower? One. Well, let's say it's a provider. It's a tower. Is right. it town property or private property? Private property. Oh. But they still have to go through the special permit process. And they want it taller than we allow. Among other variances they're requesting. Where, where approximately do they want to put this? On uh, South Deerfield Road, almost at the Deerfield border. Oh, okay. There's not many houses down there. Yeah. No, that would be the blank spot, the dark spot on 116 between neighbors and that, the grammar school. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they but, provide uh, uh, service like for 18 I, I, I have no or? idea about any of this. I'm just informing yeah, yeah. you. Okay. Just an update. No, uh, no, um, okay. we'll no wait more, no we'll more than an update. Okay. We'll wait for the planning board to get back to us on this. Okay. The, uh, the Conservation Commission moved a bit early to appoint two members. There's one member who has not been attended, 
is still technically a member until June 30th. Uh, Bob Armstrong, I believe, is working with that member to determine the best way to proceed. Right. Okay, so we'll hear more about that maybe next week. Uh, department news. Town Council reports that the amendment um, covers, this is an amendment to our bylaws that we did made at the last uh, annual uh, I think, uh, special town meeting. Um, on short-term rentals, covers bed and breakfast establishments as well as short-term Airbnbs. Mm -hmm. uh, DOR advises that the rate as well as the initial acceptance must be set and accepted by town meeting. The select board cannot unilaterally set the rate. Can I ask you a question about that? Or do you want to finish the paragraph reading I, I, I would rather go through my, okay. my update. <laughs> if well. you, and and, and questions, let's have questions at the end, perhaps. Um, uh, and I can't guarantee that I can answer any of them. This is the information That's that okay. I, am, I am prepared to present. Um, they also confirmed that it would not be proper to set a different rate for a bed and breakfast than that accepted for a short-term rental, e.g. Airbnb. Uh, the question before the select board will be to decide whether to move forward in proposing a rate, and if so, what rate? That would be for the, the town meeting warrant. Um, Colonial Power, the town's aggregator, reports that Wednesday's public hearing went well. There were no issues or concerns. Their attorney has filed the town's return of service, including proof that they posted and published the public hearing notice. Mm -hmm. The next step should be for the DPU to issue discovery or follow-up questions on the town's plan. Colonial will prepare the answers for those and coordinate responses to the DPU. Mm -hmm. Then we wait for an official order. Their last eight DPU orders took over six months from filing to issuance, so that would put us at the end of May. Colonial Power will keep us posted with any developments. I have received inquiries regarding both a community outreach meeting and a medical marijuana operation. The community outreach meeting, requested by John Moore, is scheduled for Friday, February 22nd at the Town Hall. Uh, this is what I've referred to before. Since I have not received word from any committee that the town should exercise its right of first refusal for John Harris's land, I'll put that on the next agenda for a decision. And finally, the one budget item that has changed, there is a budget item that has changed, is uh, the Franklin Regional Council of Governments line, which will be 51992 rather than my estimated 52692 or $700 less. This does not include the Board of Health's 8694 for the town nurse. That's in their own budget. Right. Right. Okay. Okay, you had a question, Phil? Made it through. All right. Um, yeah, the, I, with the, the town council's opinion that select board cannot unilaterally set the rate, did, did, the, uh, what, did the amendment that passed at town meeting give the select board the authority to set a rate? No. Okay. Um, in that case, the I did see that the rate, the maximum rate that you, the towns were allowed under the law is 5.75. Is that what you saw? I think it's six. But I that's what I th yeah. I think when it came out and got signed, it got knocked down to 5.75. But um, at any rate, whatever the maximum rate is, that would be uh, when it comes time to consider what we put on the warrant. Just just letting everybody know that would be my. Uh, uh, I'm happy to put Does it on the agenda for discussion. Okay. Can. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, well, actually, I'm, it, it's, it's part of the general setting of the warrant for the town meeting. So uh, I expect that will be um, coming up as soon as we finish the operating budgets and capital budgets. Mm -hmm. There's the schedule. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Schedule. Keep the schedule, by all means. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Tom. Any other questions for Tom? Is, is this a change for setting the rate? I mean, would we have not set a rate for ordinary B&Bs? Right. Or was Correct. It? Interesting. So, town meeting, according to the OR, sets the rate. And according to the recorder, that put us ahead of the curve as a town. Remember? That we were talking about. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yes. Ahead of the curve. Absolutely. Yeah. The head. Yeah. Not a head. <laughs>
there you go. Okay, select board comments. Do we have any select board comments? No? Okay. I don't see any new mail. Oh uh, yeah, there's three pieces of new mail. There's three here? Yeah. It's a purple, 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 purple folder. Yeah, Do you have a purple folder? Mm. Purple folder. Yeah, that's your personal folder. That's my personal that's right. That's my personal folder. So you sent that to us last week, I think. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Good. Oh, sorry. It's a week we found. Yeah. 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 We, yeah. We've seen this before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. So, what else do we have in here? Okay. Okay. This is about the uh, the wireless tower. Okay, we already discussed that. Yeah, I think the point there is that uh, the planning board and the ZBA might be holding a joint meeting uh, to discuss both the special permit and the variances required. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this is about the statewide essay contest for eighth, eighth graders. The rules are here. I'll go ahead and uh, put that on the that website. To the, to the school. Okay, and, and, oh, yeah. and put it on the website as well. All right. For all eighth graders. Okay, we have any announcements? No announcements, huh? Okay. Right, I, I think we could start before 6.30 for our finance committee meeting. Come on over, guys. Alan, do you have anybody else coming? You're supposed to be. Okay. Yeah. Well, then, then maybe then maybe we better wait until 6.30 for that. Let me see. Um, I'll call outside, see you. Know. 6.30 would be reasonable. Yeah. We could, uh, we could recess until 6.30. You, you, should, you should have a joke book. You should have a joke book for such time, that actually. That would be exciting. <laughs> Anybody have any more comments on anything we've already covered? Phil, why don't you tell us a little about the um, the process, the budget process you've been involved with at the school? Anything exciting to give us on that? Um, it's it's always difficult in a contract year to put placeholder numbers um, for significant parts of your budget, mm -hmm. and um, especially because to do so provides uh, considerable information on your strategy and what and, and everything else and yet it's public information and we can't withhold it so I, I actually think that that's a serious unfairness about having a contract year and a budget process at the same time um, but uh, it, 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 uh, and I can, this this year's budget process has reminded me that having an actual business manager in a district of that size and importance is really uh, a necessary thing. Have we, um, have we retained another? No, but the, it, the job is, is posted now and it's, um, it is going to be filled. It's budgeted in this budget coming up. We did set aside the money to do it, so. Um, okay. we're, so we're, we're doing this without a business manager. Right, it's a, it's a dead. 
It's a, it's a statewide co uh, consultancy service that specializes in this. And uh, this is his 20th dis district that he's done a budget in. And uh, on the one hand, he says he's never learned as much from uh, school uh, committee uh, uh, budget, from the school committee's budget committee. He's never learned as much from, because they, we're old hands at this, and we've all been doing it for four or five years, and some of the, there's a couple guys on there that have been doing it for 20, and they've taught him a thing or two. But um, uh, he uses the same template now. This is the 20th year that he's been doing the same template, so there's... You're getting to uncover the algorithmic mistakes from other districts, and it's he's there how, two days a week. It's how long have they had the um, the job notice out for the new business manager? Um, since the end, uh, just a, just a couple of weeks. I know it's it, oh, okay. it, it gets posted the beginning of January, end of January. I don't know, but I know we approved it and it got all into where it's supposed to get. And, I think I'm on the committee to interview the people. The Any person. responses? Then? I'm told there was initially good response. But, um, well, that's good. The problem is that that's a job historically that people apply to when they're not absolutely qualified to do it. Right. And some districts like Pioneer go ahead and hire someone on the cheap like that and train them up while they're there. Right. And um, I don't think, sorry, I shouldn't have said like Pioneer, but that's, she'll admit to that. Um, and um, others, I, I don't think we're willing to do that. We insist on a qualified okay. licensed person because it's a tough job. Well, I, I would think that in the middle of the budget year, in the middle of the uh, fiscal year, it must be tough to get somebody. Yeah, actually, they, they, they're sort of like, a, a, there's a lot of these positions around the state that they, there's a time of the year when it's tr tr acceptable to do musical chairs, and this is it. It's the early, yeah. and they, that's... I think town administrators have a similar time of the year when there's when they do musical chairs in the state. Generally, a little bit later. Yeah, yeah, and it's true with the count the town accountants as well. Mm. Um, it's kind of yeah, their I own would, little universes. I, I would guess that a new business manager wouldn't want to come into a district to try to put the budget together at this late date. No, they, they, it's, I think they don't show up till after town meetings and after the thing's approved. They want, they want the summer to get their feet wet and to figure out how things work and all that. Okay, mm -hmm. good, good. All right, well, I'm, I'm glad we're making some progress on that. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a quorum? We do. Okay, sorry about the present. Okay. You're not all on plaid, though. Right. <laughs> you didn't get the memo, huh? Where's your plaid? <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. All right, are we ready for these gentlemen? Come on up, guys. Okay. Okay. Well, Dana can cover the fire department. <laughs> Okay, so um, we're here tonight for a joint meeting so we can review uh, capital requests from the fire department, the board of health, and the highway department. And um, let's go in the order of um, board of health, fire, and highway. So Dana, what do we have in terms of uh, board of health requests? Okay, uh, Board of Health is looking for a trash compactor to replace what it's up there. Uh, they have a request for $22,000. We question that because the quote was $18,852, but the twenty-two apparently includes upgrades to electrical plus a little slush. So, um, plus a little slush. A lot of that around. <laughs> um, okay. We recommended the project be put out to bid, but otherwise we approved it. Okay. Yeah, the, the old compactor is 13 years old. Yes. And um, I was there yesterday and it was making a <laughs> terrible noise. Yeah. Not happy. Um, 
Yeah. So. Uh, okay. Uh, and. All right. There, there's not not much we can do about you know. Not approving a new compact. No. And and <laughs> and the capital improvements planning committee recommends it. Yes. Okay. Uh, um, and I know there's uh, there's an estimate here on uh, Carl's request. And it seems like, okay, he's got, uh, that's 17.8 for the compactor itself and that's the additional work that goes into it. Well, if you look at the quote, there's an installation yeah. Uh, I believe it was fifteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, so over and above that, uh, well, there has to be some electrical work. I think there's this. I think they just threw the twenty-two in there as a place marker. And okay. I you know, hope that it would be less than that. Okay. Is the disconnect already there? Pardon? Is the disconnect already there? It says wiring to a disconnect supplied by the town of Conway. Yes. That's the service yes. panel. Yes. Right so they can use what's there? Apparently. Yes. Can I ask a question about um, capital? capital or when, when a department receives um, money through a town warrant article for a capital um, item and it comes in less than what's budgeted, can they then spend the remaining money on operations or must it be returned to town? Yeah, they wouldn't spend it on operations. Uh, okay. okay. <coughs> they, could, they, could, they could spend it on related installation, equipment, you know, anything that's related to that expense, but not on operations. That's my question and answer. Okay. This is intended to be funded from free cash, right? Like the correct time? It's right now slated to come from free cash. Yeah. yeah. So there's no, no effect on the tax rate. Okay. All right. All right. Next item is the uh, request from the fire department. Okay. Uh, the fire department. Well, Bob, the number is kind of got mixed up a little bit. He had requested 10, but the quote came in for 9. Uh, and, and I guess to cut to the chase, we recommended purchasing six units with spare out air bottles at a cost of $55,710. This, by, by law, you cannot mix these on a truck. They all have to be the same <coughs> new truck. The new truck has six seating positions and six new units would complete that. Um, all the units that they currently have have been tested annually and they all are operating as designed. These units, um, well, the units we have at some point are nearly the end of their estimated life cycle. The newer ones are smaller, more compact, hold more air, uh, and are more user friendly. That being said, when we recalculated the numbers for 10. It was more than the 85,000 that he was looking for. And we just thought that maybe next year do four and six this year and not hit the cookie jar too hard. And he was, he was agreeable to that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and so that's what we approved. Okay, and, and essentially, um, what these units are is when uh, they have to go into a building that's uh, full of smoke. Yeah, they're they, self-contained. They're breathing apparatus. Self-contained breathing apparatus. So <coughs> you, you 
carry your own supply of air, you do not depend on any outside air. Okay. And and um, I know you know Bob originally said he wanted the ten, but then he said he six and then or a certain number and then spread the others out over a number of years. Right. Okay. Um, the other truck. Uh, Actually, I, I think we're still talking nine. The other truck is a three place. The country does not carry any breathing apparatus. So the secondary bumper is a three position cab. So we need a total of nine. So I said for it should be six this year and three months. Okay. So, all right. Any questions for Dana? No, that's sort of that's what I recall the chief saying here as well. So I think that's pretty much what we were thinking. Yeah. Of. Um, and then certainly these these are important for our, our firefighters in, in case there's a yes. there's a serious fire in town. Uh, they absolutely need this uh, this equipment. This is going to be funded from the capital stabilization fund. Is that your proposal, Tom? That's my recommendation so far. Yeah. You know yes, how much sir. approximately is in the capital stabilization fund right now? Offhand, four hundred five thousand. Four hundred five thousand. Yeah. So that we have we have plenty of room there, yeah. and again, no effect on the tax rate. Uh, it's not raising appropriate. All right, so we're talking six this year and three next year. Yes. That's that's your right. recommendation. Okay. The three next year is very informal, though. I mean, we're not. Bob did not ask us to approve. Four or three for next year. Yeah, well, but I'm, I'm sure just asking for their recommendation. Why don't we just do it all? Do it all uh, he'll come back and he may decide he wants four. I, I don't, you know. I, it, it would actually be better to, as as we start staggering them, to stagger them even more next time so that we don't have this load uh -huh. coming well, you're, in. You're, a, see, you're limited, though. In other words, you couldn't buy three this year. And put half new on the right. on the new fire truck, and then half of the existing. Can't do that. You cannot mix them. Now you could buy three this year and put them on the backup pumper, but then next year you'd be looking for six anyway. So, but you can't mix on one vehicle. They all have to be the same. Okay. All right. All right. So, so okay. these would go on our new fire truck. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions for Dan? Okay. All right. Uh, okay, we're down to highway. Well, unfortunately, the night we had our meeting, uh, Ron had a facility meeting, and then we got that nasty snowstorm that came in, which kind of pulled him away. So uh, we have some difficulties facing the schedule because, like Bob, is Select Board, Conservation Commission. Yeah. Um, Kuzmeskis is um, Capital Improvement and Regional School Committee. And so it's trying to juggle all these. And Russ, of course, is an assessor. So, <coughs> but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll okay. So so okay, you have no recommendation on the, no. on the highway equipment. No. Ron, you wanna you wanna run through these requests for us? Right. Uh, first one's for the six wheel dump truck with plows. I'm looking for two hundred thousand. Now that price I don't have a firm price at this time on I'm still working on putting together the truck and that's uh, um, what our needs are with the truck. So we're, I came up with a number that I'm pretty confident and safe with. It, hopefully we come in less, but I'm going to say right now probably won't. Would this be a state of, contract? What's that? Would this be a state contract? I'm not sure whether I'll use a state contract or not. You might do better without state contract, just bidding it ourselves. Um, there's so always that. Yeah, just, just be sure to factor in that the state contracts uh, are geared towards the best value, not necessarily the best price, but they I, often have better warranties and such. I, I understand that. I mean, but 
there's also things that I've found in the past that when you bid them yourself, you get a better price. But I'm not, again, you can always fall back on the state contract too. You know, yeah. if you bid it and you don't accept the bids, you can always use state bids. So this is, does this have, is this, what does this have in common with the one that was rejected at town meeting last year? This what? is a dump truck. This isn't the Volvo, this isn't the replacement for the Volvo excavator? No, that is one of the items that I have, but this is, the one I'm talking about right now is for, as a dump truck. The six wheel dump truck. 21 years old then? The one that we have right now is, yes, 21 years old. It's a 98. Wow. Any questions on that? Just Checked around with two or three towns that have bought trucks like this, and I think you're really safe with the two hundred thousand number. There seems to be around one eighty-five. That's what I found. Well, Thomas Shelburne just bought theirs at two twenty. No, I don't know. Yes. What so I mean, <laughs> they're yes. buying Cadillacs too. So this this includes the plows, right? Yes, and a saver. And a, and a saver. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, probably a combination body or whatever, you know, whatever. I'm trying to put together a, a workable truck, and when I finally figure out where we are with it, um, then we can, I'll, I'll know by town meeting anyway that what the truck is that I'm trying to put together. But things take a lot of time because there's so much involved in, especially the dump truck. I mean, it's there's so many factors and such as the bed well that but also the configuration of the hydraulic system mm -hmm. you know the plow system with the bed system mm -hmm. and all that so you have a lot of options to choose from well yes so i and guess you could say options yeah and this has a useful life of what 12 years that's what my plan is for new trucks. I mean, I'm seeing right now actually new trucks. Some of the problem with trucks now is that you can't get parts for them after. Now it's down to 10 years, mm -hmm. you know, from the manufacturer. Yeah. A lot of the aftermarket parts like um, oil filters, uh, normal commodity parts are available, but when you get into something like specific for the truck, um, they're not available. Mm -hmm. and then either you have to have somebody build something to make it work, or yeah, it gets costly. And it's more more so with the newer trucks, with the computers and the electronics that are in the truck that are where it becomes very difficult to for replacement stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's it's going to cost about sixteen thousand a year, basically, right, for, for this for this truck. Okay. All right. Any other questions on this truck? Well, I mean, this 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 would be a test of the theory then about. I mean, you'll be able to demonstrate with this your theory about capital, because I mean, last last year, as I as I recall, it wasn't so in my. Uh, impression. It wasn't so much that the excavator itself was rejected, it was that the notion of the capital planning for, for this type of thing where you substitute out after five years, that, that you know... It, not all these types of... But the, that's the, right, right. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm saying that this is what we lost to. That This is what you, the, 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 the fellows standing with their backs against the wall saying how many hours are on that machine, and this is New England, you use it until it, you know, it dies, you break down, and it does. And the idea, so that, well, this is, and, and this, this is the example that this is what happens when you use it until it breaks down. You have a much bigger price tag. Is that is that the general? No, that's system? not necessarily true with a truck. Well, you the five year plan is for the equipment. Unfortunately, the trucks you can't do with because they're a specialty item. So the resale value in twelve years or even even two years. Is not there is no considerable value to it. You've already the day you take delivery of it, 
you've taken so much of the value away from the truck that so that theory doesn't necessarily work with trucks especially this truck because it's a kind of a municipality truck not many contractors have a whole lot of use or are willing to pay good money for a truck of this that's the way this truck's set up mm -hmm. so that's so this truck wouldn't be included as a five-year training? No, no, no. no. Well, this, ever. No. This is to drive it to the ground, basically. Yeah. Basically, yeah. We're, we're estimating five um, years. If you remember, uh, <laughs> I Yeah, no, no, no I remember. Very clear. Yeah. Dump trucks, town highway dump trucks, fire trucks do not come into that category. They're right. specialty item, and there's no market for a two- or three-year-old or five-year-old Right. So we're saying, I remember reading that too, but I didn't remember that detail. Yeah. <laughs> so we're saying 12 years is a reasonable life expectancy of the truck. Mm -hmm. Well, it's nine years less than the one you're replacing. Nine years, yeah. And you also have to understand that modern trucks are nowhere near as dependable as the older trucks are. The missions have made them so unpredictable. Yeah. I don't know any other word to. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes it very difficult to yeah. um, depend on them. Yeah, as they get older. As they get older. Right. <clears throat> well, some, one of the ones you had was was, uh, was regularly troublesome, and it wasn't even that old, right? Yes, that one's actually gone now. Yeah, I know. That was the old seven. That was the beginning of the big emission loss. Yeah. Um, that how, truck many, how many years can these warranties go on for these type of trucks with new emissions? Um, I know that we had eight years on the um, last truck that we had. And that was the old seven. And, but I'm not sure what they're given for years now, from what I understand. Yeah. Five if you're, yeah. but they get very costly. Oh, yeah. Um, I think under state contract, it's a two year contract, I mean, two year warranty. Two year warranty, that's it. Yeah. But if you go and just buy the truck um, without paying anything extra, I think it's like six months. Warranty. There's not much of a warranty on them. Not on the, is there any extra warranty on the emission equipment? Uh, I'm not sure how that works now. It used to be five years on the emissions, but now I'm, I'm pretty sure it's it's not there. The level lies longer than six months, yeah. is that? It does not apply. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, ask, ask Roy what, would, what uh, the town would be like if we were dealing with 10 year old electronics. Yeah. The town said? Because these trucks are going to have 10 year old electronics in them. Well, we're already 12 we're years. Pushing 12 years, right? So you got two, two iffy years. Oh. <laughs> you know, you roll the dice for the last two years, right? Well, we're, we're, we're trying not to be any more than three or four years old, right? With town equipment. But not on this stuff. No. That's what, what I'm saying. With electrical. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yes. It, it's understandable that that the um, electronics is uh, yeah. gets iffy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, Ron, what's your next one? Uh, again, the excavator that we asked to replace last year, this year I'm asking for 45,000. Um, again, I don't know where we are with trading value. Um, my one of my thoughts was that I know that if we sold it outright, and I know that we could put ourselves in a situation by selling it outright, but I know the money is a lot more. I mean, ten thousand dollars probably or more towards a new machine. If we did it that way, we'd have to ask for more money for the machine to cover the cost of the machine, and then. When we sold the old machine, that we go back into the stabilization fund, or so you mean to do that instead of trade having a piece of trade, trade trading, you lose a fair mm -hmm. amount of money on trading. But you know, if you're, I mean, 
Everything's based on auction price, on trading, but to sell to, you know, to private sales, basically, you, you're going to, you're going to be able to get more money for it. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, that's just a thought that I, I had, that trying to help offset, offset some of the monies. Mm -hmm. Um, Again, let me put my two cents worth in on that. People tend to buy used equipment, cars, trucks, whatever, <coughs> privately because the assumption is they can buy it for less money. People that tend to sell things like that themselves instead of trading it, do it because they think they can get more money. So you have two situations hitting each other head on. Mm -hmm. um, so that, I, I don't know Just if you want to get involved, you know. Well, there's a little piece of equipment and then there's a problem with it and you get into a lawsuit because, I, I don't know. I think, I think it's a little different selling equipment than it is motor vehicles. Yeah. But there's also the other thing that we could actually put it up for auction ourselves to calm, uh, calm buys or not calm buys, I forget what that, or gov, dot gov uh, auction or whatever. There's several um, uh, government auction places that um, you may do better than on a trade-in. So again, you have to sell it as is. and. Right. Um, you might run into problems where people who want it want it delivered or oh, that's FOB all be or something. Yeah. But uh, it, 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 we, we want to give people a chance to look at it. <coughs> and that also limit our. I think trading in is cleaner, and it I like that. But cleaner, I do. But I know we're giving up the chance for more money, but it's not guaranteed. So the forty-five is that assuming a trade in? What do you think you can get? That's assuming a trade in. So, what's the cost move of this rascal? Yeah. What's that? What's the cost move for this rascal? Just under 100000 So, we could auction it with a, a minimum price. Correct. Mm -hmm. And if it didn't meet that minimum it's price, you'd go ahead and do, do the trade in. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I suppose you could, but time is of the essence. Yeah, when you're talking, I mean, so basically you just took and made a huge span because you're gonna before you can order the machine, they're gonna want to know whether they're taking a trade in or not. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh, right. And with the trade in, you use it right up until you trade it in, and then you have. I, to, I looked at this comment as sort of a commentary on your suggestion that we might want to auction it because it, it, I, I, if, if, if you do, I mean, if, if auction is the way to go, I like the idea of putting reserve price in it so that you don't commit to selling it to the lowest bidder no matter what. Right. That's all. I, I think. Yeah, well, you, you'd, always, you'd always have a reserve price. You're not well, going to get the thing on it. If somebody, something happened and it didn't really go the way you wanted it, you always put a reserve. I would say good luck getting the town meeting approval for a hundred thousand dollars for a new yeah, I have a, for a, a home yeah. of getting something for a trade. So we have a question that I don't know if it's appropriate for you, Ron, or, or Daniel, or Tom, Tom Hutchinson. That is, uh, if the purchase price is a hundred thousand, we're assuming up to ten thousand for a trade. The purchase, we're going to fund forty-five thousand from free cash. We're looking to finance the rest. Is that your proposal? No. Well, the hundred thousand is, and then we get um, discounts and stuff like that that come off. Uh -huh. That I can't. I don't know what they are at this point. Uh -huh. This is a number that I was given to me, saying that we will more than likely be safe at forty-five thousand for. That, that's our net. The forty-five thousand. But we trade in ten grand for the. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Oh, so yeah, he does not know. I don't know, as you'll see in one of my other requests. Yeah. So by town meeting, you have those details. I will have, yes, I'll have all firm numbers by okay. town meeting. Thank you. Do you think the trading is? You don't know. I don't know at the moment. I was told that if I ask for 45, that we won't be over that, or shouldn't be over that. 
And between new class and a short, a shy The list price on it is $100,000. So where's the bonuses? And That's what I'm saying. That's Does that come from the dealer, from the state? Yeah, that from no, that comes from the dealer. Dana, the markup must be enormous on this stuff, huh? It comes to the manufacturer. <laughs> That's why he's spending his time maple sugaring now. Right? <laughs> Well, isn't a good There's a certain, of course, there's a market. That's a, lot of, that's a big swing, that's all. Yeah. But yeah. then there's a significant amount of money that comes from the manufacturer that they're willing to invest in the town of Conway purchasing this. So people say, oh, the town of Conway, they've got all this Volvo equipment. Mm -hmm. Must be good. Maybe I'll buy Volvo next time. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, the, that's the idea? That's the yeah, idea. It's marketing. It's marketing. It's uh -huh. a Hi, Ron. So, well, so John, what town's using explain. the Mercedes equipment? What's that? What town's using the Mercedes equipment? None that I'm aware of, <laughs> Tom. None that I'm aware of. All right, so we don't use that all year round. So I'm, I'm looking, I, I'm pretty confident 45 will cover by and replacing the machine. Mm -hmm. But if you take the 45 and then add, say, $40,000, yeah, you know, for a trade-in, so we're at 85 there. Oh, what you got? You think you can get 40? I, I'm not sure where we are with that. Yeah, it's um, more than 10. Well, you yeah, won't but know until you point make the trade. You won't know the final thing. Right, right. Until, right. Trade. until we actually make a deal or get close to making a deal. But yeah. 45,000 is what you have earmarked for the free cash potentially here. No more than that, right? Yeah, that would be our net. Okay. Yeah, that would be our net, the 45. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Ron, next one. All right. Oh, let's go to the Kubota tractor. The one that we had $12,000 approved last <laughs> at town meeting. And this is where things get, because when I went to do the trade, I had gotten up trade prices and everything before town, before I went before the committees last year. The trade went from 15000 down to the best I could do on the Kubota trade was eight, uh, nine thousand dollars, mm -hmm. so that left me six thousand dollars short. So mm -hmm. I couldn't, I can't move forward with the project. Mm -hmm. the, the, I don't have enough money to. Yeah. And that's some of what's when you start needing prices in December. It gets very difficult to, you know, six months later, go and ask mm -hmm. for pricing, you know. To, then not nobody's going to save that price for you. Yep. So the six I'm asking for six thousand dollars to add to twelve thousand that we already approved for to replace the Kubota tractor, which that money, hasn't. Been, that's, that money is encumbered. It's earmark. It's earmark. <coughs> yes. It was yeah. a special. <coughs> yeah. So the other six grand come from free cash. Is that right, Tom? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's. These, those are all recommendations from me, of course. After yeah. I turn my budget over to you guys, you can, you can play with it, but uh, we got to always look at the levy limit. Yes, That's all I'm going to say now. Next item is the compact loader, 2014 Volvo MCT110C that I'm looking to replace. It's just a five year. Replacement schedule. I'm looking for 20 grand to replace that. Well, what do you, what do you figure the trade in was drawn on that as well? Excuse me. The trade in. What do you figure the trade in on it? Um, well, the machine is um, 50, 55,000 dollars. I think that's what it is around a new, and with the trade in. That's why I'm looking at twenty thousand. To I'm okay. pretty confident twenty thousand. So you're out. figuring thirty-five thousand for the trade. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, we had a question that we, we couldn't present to you, but I think it bears mentioning now. Will all the attachments that we currently have fit it? Yes. Okay. Okay, any questions on the, on the loader? Is that the skid steer? Yeah, the track. Oh, okay. I was just using the, the real name for it. Yeah. Okay, any, any uh, other questions for Ron on this one? 
to run your trade, the one you got your trading in. Yes. Where do you think that's going to get you? Oh, again, I get 35. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping to get 35 for it. And we're going to fund it from free cash. It's 20 grand. So we have $438,000 in free cash right now certified. <coughs> Well, we um, have 405. 405,000 <coughs> right? yeah. in capital stabilization. Okay. So, so if we spend, um, what was the first? I think you said 408. 408 was in the, uh, I couldn't remember from our notes because we had that uh, update you gave us back in January. Yeah, I thought it was 405. Oh, 405 for mm -hmm. the uh, free cash? So there's, the, I only had two things coming from that. Okay. The, uh, the fire equipment and right. um, a few things other things or whatever. The smaller items. The money is there. This one, mm -hmm. this one. Yeah. I'm just anticipating and I, questions at town meeting. That's I, I think the truck, because that, that's, that's a big item. So right. it was going to be 285 out of that, but now it's only going to be 255. Out of free cash or stabilization? Stabilization. Stabilization. Oh, okay. I thought Not you were asking cash. about free cash. I asked both, but oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. There's another one from the free cash. I recall from the third point, 38,000 or something. Yeah, so that leaves 150. Yeah. And I also have 150 slated to go into capital stabilization. Yeah, yeah I'm bumping that up 25,000 because mm -hmm. we're going to need it. Once we figure in the buildings and the bridges. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Ron, the last one? Uh, the last one is the one ton pickup. Mm -hmm. um, just a replacement of it. Five year replacement, looking for $20,000. And the and trade in value you figure? Well, new pickup is 60 grand, 55, 60 grand. And I'm hoping that we go good for 30. I, I can tell you we are not going to recommend that. Uh, we are not going to recommend crew cab pickups with upgraded interiors and that. That's you an upgraded interior. Well, you got a big horn. But it's alloy wheels, better interior. That truck should be a work truck. I just did all the stuff and for four thousand dollars more, which well, is going to give it a much better resale value than. So what what options do you want me to take out of the truck? What we are recommending is a standard cab. Work truck. So when we go to Which is about workshops and what you're when we go to workshops and how many workshops do you go to a year? Four or five a year. Doing what? For safety. You go to five workshops with all your people a year, five times a year. Somewhere around there. Well, I would tell you it'd be a and lot less expensive to rent a van if you need to take everybody at one vehicle. All right, what, what's the difference between 20 what you're grand. talking about and what, what you're talking about? How much? 20,000 $20, bucks. Oh, no. Not even close. Not even. I'll give you some numbers. Okay. You said it was, you got all, all the extras for 4,000. That was the difference. I just did. I'm talking the difference between what he has now, replacing it with what he's got now, right. as opposed to a standard cab. Do you understand? Truck. Do you understand what I carry in the truck? You know, I mean, that, that extra cab isn't just people. It's all my tools that I carry around that can't get wet. I mean, I, I'll do whatever you guys want, but I'm, I'm, you're, I already spend a lot of hours doing stuff. Mm -hmm. And when I have to fool around because I can't, there's no place to carry stuff. And now you're making me run two, three trucks to do things. I just don't understand your, your thinking on how that's a better deal. I, I don't know much about deals one way or the other, but when I saw this request, I thought, oh, I thought of all of your requests, this is going to be the most inviting for the town to defeat. Um, and I'll tell you why. It, um, and I thought that it, it, it endangers the possible success of many of the of other ones as well. Just because if you're the typical person that whose only interaction with the town is the one town meeting, 
they come in there and this is where people substitute their own experience for what's happening in the town. And that's just a natural reaction for the typical voter who sits there and says, I don't get my, my truck replaced when it's five years old. And it, you know, why should he get his truck replaced when it's five years? Why am I paying? And, and, and it's not, and they look at it like it's not a special town vehicle, it's just a pickup truck. And, and, um, and them paying for someone else's new pickup truck when their pickup truck is five years. And I, you get into, the voters are gonna get. Uh, the truck isn't used as a, a car. It's a truck. It's not any different than a dump truck. I mean, we use it for moving our equipment around the trailer. It plows snow. It does. It it's an it's a piece of equipment to the town. It's a work truck. And it's that's a, what it should be is a work truck. It right. It is a work not truck. a pleasure vehicle. Yeah. So I'm like making suggestions. Are as important because I mentioned before about vehicles not being on the five-year plan. This is just to explain the rationale to the. Uh, people in town at the town meeting so they understand that it is a work truck and not to be looked at as a, a semi-work truck or a more recreational type vehicle as you would a, a very back, old pickup truck. Back up a second. Ron says this $4,000 difference between your sort of very basic... No, I'll, I'll take that back because I didn't, I've never looked at a single cap. It, in my eyes, it does. It's not a function of our town. So, in other words, the double means you've got the back seat and the yeah, area in the back, back here. Yeah. It's you. That's a handy thing to have. Does it have to come with an extra heavy axle for, for pulling heavier items? Is that kind of upgrade packages? Well, that's all part of the one ton. A one ton truck. It's a one ton yeah. truck. Yeah. Designed for pulling trailers. Well, it's a work truck. It yeah. plows snow. <coughs> Well, it's designed, the trailer. It's designed, it's designed, it's designed so, for pushing snow too. Pardon? It's designed yeah. for pushing snow. You have to find yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's well, more. it's a diesel, so it come. I mean, that makes right. it the heavy duty. So it's a double cab versus single cab is what your argument is. Oh, it goes more than that. Right. Talking about where truck as opposed to plush. Yeah. Exactly. Well, the difference was because some of the options that I needed for the truck to go to the package, the big horn package, it was cheaper to do the package than it was to do the individual. What are the individual things you're talking for? Well, for one, when uh, the electric seat is, I mean, I, I wouldn't buy a truck without it because when you put different people plowing, plowing, you want to be up. And I know you, you don't. You're building a luxury, Pick up no, I'm building a work practical truck. truck. Yeah. And I know you do. Well, well, All right, these, I'm not gonna get these, are, these are detail, right. details we, yeah. can, we can discuss yeah. later. Um, well, I, I'm interested in hearing your, your rationale, though. You, you, about what exactly you well, sound the like. The aluminum now. wheels was because they less have to have issues when you hit curbs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah they did. They, they, um, unless you actually break it. But they don't do like steel wheels where you bend them and hmm? then the rust is an issue with the wheels. That's one of the reasons why yeah, I wanted to. The aluminum to wheels break when you hit a curb and they're about $600. You have to hit hard to do that. You just only scuff hit the in curves. Huh? So don't hit the curves. Well, I can't vouch for everybody that drives the truck. And when you're out plowing for 16 hours, sometimes things happen. Is this is, it, is this a topic for you and the select board to be Well, discussing? he wanted to know. Well, or, or I'm trying to understand the basis for your request, and uh, so I was just welcoming all information you had to explain that. To answer your question about whether what the town's going to think, when this truck got purchased, this this was brought out, explained what we was looking to buy. The current one, the 2014 the one. Yes. I mean, th that's what got voted on was for a crew cab truck. Um, that's what got voted on. So I don't understand why we're trying to go backwards now. Okay. All right. Well, uh, any other questions for Ron? And we propose to fund it from free cash, regardless of it's worked out. Right. Well, to me, what's unfortunate is that we didn't have this discussion 
in the long range planning committee, in, in, in the in the capital improvement committee. You, well, you know, so now we're, know, we're sort of half having the discussion now that we should have had well, then. This needed to be in in December. Uh, I, I, yeah, I know. So here and, it is, and, you had it time. and I had one request for a meeting. I mean, okay. I don't know what happened for the two months before the request. I mean, you know, it's a busy time of year for me, and when you come up three days or a week before and ask me for a meeting, and this is the uh, this is the test Sorry. of where the demarcation begins and ends, because in my mind, it's not up to us. I I don't I don't want to argue with Ron whether he needs space for his tools or not. Yeah. I really don't. Yeah. I want to say, well, what's the if you're telling me between a stripped down truck and a truck that has call it bells and whistles or whatever you want to call it, it's four thousand bucks. After four thousand bucks makes for a better work for everybody, four thousand bucks is nothing over the budget. So, you know, and on the other hand, if this is and we're talking about four thousand over a period of time, right? Okay. Is this well, plus, plus, but is it double? Are we really talking a truck that costs double? I'll give you both the number. I mean, Great. Yeah. yeah. Right, also, like, at, at what point does it change? I mean, four, but what if it was twelve? I don't know what point. Yeah, I mean, but for you, what what number? What at that point would that this, swap this is over? this is stuff that the capital improvements committee I think is that's that's a good thing for us to discuss. But I don't think we should be debating whether or not he needs something. I think it's it should be presented to us as a given. Myself. Mm -hmm. That's that's my, my own opinion. Resale value is going to be definitely better with, from a stripped down truck to something that's a little more desirable. So we, should this, right? we should probably yeah. table this to a little more information that we can we can. Right. Truck to fly is not a It's not a It's going to have a much less resale value than one that Roy has driven and is trading in on a new truck. Don't kid yourself, it isn't going to make that much difference. Okay. So right. sometime between now and April 8th, 8th we'll have another... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll bring this up again. All right, well, thank, you, thank you, Ron. Thank you. Okay. 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 Thank you. Other town meeting and budget business? Uh, uh, the only thing I wanted to mention was the uh, Franklin Regional Council of Governments came in $700 lower than I had. Um, preliminary indications are that Frontier is going to have a substantial jump. Uh, no idea what Conway Grammar School is going to do. You're going to hear more about that over February and in the morning. the operating budget based on the union negotiations? Is that what you're No, saying? no, no, no. Right. Um, Tom, is the jump at Frontier the, yeah, on the, the wish list? The, that they were asked, you know, two years ago? No, no nothing, to, nothing to do with any of that. Oh, well, nothing to do with any of that. It, the, it has to do with a, um, a state report saying that Conway has dramatically increased uh, um, the foundation number of students in, in the age group, which under the State uh, Egg Reform Act requires a rejigging of the formula. Uh, oh. and, and, a, and, a, and a much higher minimum contribution from the town of Conway. Because? And because school choice, more school no, choice? No, no, that, that because the, 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 they're showing the total number of school age kids in Conway from between seven and age of seven to 12 <coughs> as increasing last year from 97 to 110. Wow. Which is a massive 10% increase in that population one year, which is greater than the historical 20-year record that I've been able to find, and it's more than half of it. Don't get me started. Is that, that incorrect? Uh, I, I actually have deep doubts about the uh, the veracity of that, that, although it is the actual state report, and so the, um, this, is, this just came out, this is fresh off today, whatever, and tomorrow there was supposed to be another meeting because this num these numbers just came out last week, and it has to do not so much with the frontier budget per se, but the overall um, uh, uh, formula that the budget gets rinsed through as applied to the towns. Um, oh. So the, the, the overall frontier budget is very friendly this year. I thought our enrollments were declining. I, yeah. Uh, thank you. I mean, you haven't um, seen that so increase. How is it reported by the school? Have they seen that increase at the elementary school? No, because if not, this is, this, we're this is the cohort of age seven through grade seven through 12. 
Well, right, but most of those kids went through the first through the. So you would think, yeah. If, if, I mean, if so, they would be there last still. year and the year before, right, right, and right, you right, would right. be able to track their rise in the system. Right. Um, not so. Oh. Yeah, but there's barely a hundred kids from so town to go to the elementary. This is school. asking us that basically in the last year in Conway, thirteen high school age kids moved into this community. No. Or. So was that reported? In your is this because it's related to Went from we have private to public. Manager no, it has nothing to do with the private. This is all kids. This is kids that just that age core is not to do with frontier versus charter or anything else. It's yeah. this this measures. This is the foundation number that the chapter seventy is based on. Yeah, yeah. So is this reported to the state by the, the this, this is, manager, or is that right? and, and and I honestly don't oh, know. Oh, I, I don't know oh, how oh, the state oh, derive. Oh. I, I don't know how the state derives this that statistic. I do know that the state reports it to the districts, and yeah. the districts by law have to run with that number. But um, I don't know my ability or our ability as citizens to enter into that state process where they calculate that number even. I don't even know. That's, and I, tomorrow I don't know how much I can find out because right. no, the, the right. budget well, meeting for Frontier got canceled from tomorrow and pushed right, the... Right, right, okay. right. I don't what know. day? Shall I'll thank you for the update. Yeah. Is there one following week? It, it might be thank Thursday. You. Thank you, Dana. Um, they're trying to get a quorum. They're trying to, there's a lot of reasons to do this as soon as we can because all the towns want to know right, right away. So are the other, 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 four, other three towns in the frontier are getting uh, facing this? Uh, no. Uh, no. Not no. The other three, if the budget as in this gets presented to the public on Thursday, the other three towns are going to be so in love with this budget. Oh, yeah. They, they are going to be singing hosannas in the street. Oh, sure. Because we're going to pay more. Yes. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, all right. Thank Gentlemen, you. thank you for coming. Thank you. Um, is there any more questions to come before the board? Uh, if not, then uh, we'll make a motion to adjourn. Our next meeting is uh, February 19th, uh, Tuesday, February 19th. Thanks for the heads up. Here. Okay. Second. All right. Second. Bye. 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 Bye.